one of the most significant family transitions is the transition from a prior intact family structure to a new separated family structure. In the intact family structure, the child's able to just sort of swim in the family unit and be a child. Whereas when we move to a separated family structure, that child's role is now to hold the family together. And that can be a stressful position for the child because the parents are separating. So the separation pressure is pulling the child apart in their unifying function within the family. So with all divorce, what we want to do is keep the separation energies contained and minimal so that the child can more fully and healthily perform their function of loving both parents and being loved by both parents and maintaining the family. The difficulty in these families, a child rejecting a parent, is that the anger and conflict has diverted the family's transition into a pathological cutoff family structure. And so the, the family in this case is rejecting one of the parents as a method of navigating the divorce. Now that's not a divorce transition. That's the structure for the death of a parent. It is never healthy. It's never okay to leave a child in a cutoff family structure. That will always be damaging to the child. So the child's best interests are always for the family to make a successful transition to a healthy separated family structure.